So in this last video, um, we'll talk about the fourth postulate. So until now, we've only talked about the, the static, in some sense, behavior of the system. How do we describe the behavior? Um, but we've not talked about the dynamics of, the, of quantum systems. So in this fourth postulate, um, we learn about the dynamics of the system. So how does the system change from, uh, from one time to the next? And what the time evolution equation of the system says is that um, a state factor phi, which in this case now becomes a function of time, is governed by an evolution equation, which is ih bar um, total time derivative of the state factor um, must be equal to the Hamiltonian operator uh, op operating on the state phi. Okay, so in this case, this h operator um, is a Hermitian operator that we call the Hamiltonian um, and that defines the time evolution of the system. Uh, notice that um, even though you know the dimensions of, of H are, are energy and you can find out from the dimension of, uh, of 8 bar and, and of course the time derivative, um, but uh, at this point this doesn't say anything yet about whether um, this Hamiltonian operator corresponds with energy. We'll find out that that's actually the case, um, but that's not a requirement um, a priori. Ultimately, what will happen is when we define um, energy and we want to come up with an operator that, uh, that gives us energy as a measurement, um, as, as a, an, an observable, as, as some would call it, then um, we'll find out that the Hamiltonian operator does serve that role. Now this um, is one way of writing the uh, time evolution. So we've written it here um, in, in terms of a differential equation. We can also write this in uh, integral form. So instead of writing it as uh, um, a, a derivative on, um, on, on our state phi as a function of time, we can also talk, talk about it as um, how do we change or how do we transform or state phi at the time t zero to a state phi of at the time t. And so, um, first of all, both of those will have to be normalized. Um, so when we go from one normalized state to another normalized state, there will be a, a unitary operator um, involved. And that is called the evolution operator. So there is a unitary operator that depends on the two times, the, the time at origin and, and the time we want to evolve to, and it operates on the state at the time of, uh, um, of origin, so t0. And that gives us back our, uh, our state at a time t, okay? Naturally, um, you can imagine that u and or Hamiltonian operator here will be related um, and uh, one other uh, as you can see from this, this first order differential equation and uh, this kind of linear um, relationship, you can kind of imagine how u will look in terms of uh, h and it will involve an exponential. We can also write this uh, differential equation of the um, time evolution in, uh, in, in a basis, in any basis, and consider the, the matrix representation. So if we write our state phi um, as a collection of coefficients multiplied with a basis with with basis factors then those coefficients will pick up a time dependence and so we'll have a relationship between our set of coefficients at uh, at in this case with one time multiplied with the matrix representation of our Hamil Hamiltonian operator and that will give us our uh, ih bar um, and the time derivative of the of the coefficients um, so so we'll get a um, differential equation here that uh, um, that operates on uh, or a differential equation of all of the coefficients um, and then there's a linear operator here that uh, can be interpreted as a, a matrix multiplication with that vector of uh, coefficients. Okay so that's the fourth postulate that describes the dynamics of the system after describing previously um, the, the statics of the system. Okay.